What's up guys, it's Troy the Realtor. Uh, just wanted to do a uh, impromptu video. I'm actually on my way to the uh, Mercedes dealership to get my uh, wife's car uh, cleaned up and, and detailed and all that fun stuff. But I uh, wanted to do this quick video to tell, uh, talk to you guys. Uh, some people were wondering if uh, you know real estate is a good business to get into, if this is something that you may like. I actually just came from a property that I have listed. Uh, it's currently pending, and uh, it was only on the market for about uh, three days. And so that's the kind of market we're in right now. We're in one of these crazy markets where houses are going super fast. And um, you know, for agents that are able to get listings, this is a great time for them to be in the business because, man, they're just killing it. <laughs> um, I am excited. Uh, I just. You know, I've, I've been running into a good slew of customers, and I just got another customer that uh, is uh, I'm preparing an offer for on a 500 and something thousand dollar home, and um, this is a really you know cool house and um, you know lots of things that they offer. But what's kind of cool is that you know it's it's inconsistent the business. Uh, what'll happen is that you'll end up like for instance, I had a month where I had six closings come in in one month and those six closings um, culminated a total of somewhere around thirty five forty thousand dollars um, which was pretty good uh, pretty solid to make in one month it's kind of crazy and then I had one deal that just closed last month that was uh, over forty thousand so I mean it's insane if uh, if I'm closing this next deal this next house that'll put me close to 200 grand in less than uh, in just six months. Uh, it's only June right now. Um, it's June 7th, or yeah, I believe it's June 7th. So, this is crazy. Um, is this business a great business to be in? Yeah, is it hard? Yeah, there's there's months where you're not making you know much money, but the thing is, is consistently putting your brand out there, getting your name out there, um, letting people know. You know, it's tough. It's a very tough business if you're shy, if you don't like to talk to people, if you're uncomfortable on the phone. Those are things you can always work on and you can improve. But for the most part, you kind of want to do it. And I just noticed I haven't shaved. I look like crap right now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but uh, it's one of those things where this can really, you know, change your life if you're used to a, a regular nine to five and you want. To have the ability to do a whole lot more like you know I've been in a lot of situations where I've you know been with companies and made some decent money and saved some money but man to be able to look at your bank account and you've got you know 50,000 just sitting in the bank all from one year and then you've got you know money in your checking account and you know not just savings but checking and all these other things uh, it's a great great business if you can work it correctly to build um, you know your future uh, retirement money put money into investments things like that so there is a lot of opportunity uh, not everyone has the benefit of being in a position where they're able to really hone in on their skills and and you know um, meet people and talk to people and, and, and build a, a thriving business in real estate but at the same time 
If you're a hard worker, you're consistently doing, you're making yourself available. Uh, I find that the key is, is that to make sure that you plant the seeds early in your real estate career so that people know. You know, I, I often upload content onto my sites, uh, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, all these different things. Put content in there, let people know, hey, I got a house for sale, or hey, uh, this is a great house if you're looking to buy. Uh, let them know, reassure them, re remind them that you're doing this type of business because they go through their lives and their daily lives and they may or may not you know, think about you. You may not be on the forefront of their thoughts. But if they're someone that you've come across, they're friends, they know you, things like that, then it's your job to make sure that you're on their, their first thought, their first train of mind. And then if they see things actively happening for you, you want to share that so they know, man, this guy really does know his business. I want to work with this guy, you know, because, you know, people, other people trust him. Why shouldn't I give him a shot and let him, you know, help me find a home or help me sell my house? And so I've been blessed, you know, with the fact that it is going so well. Um, it's still, you know, uh, early in the year and things are going fantastic. You know, I could not write another thing for the next six months and be totally fine but you want to you you feel like once you get that train rolling you just got to keep going and so that's the main thing that i would say if you're going to do anything is to continue to promote yourself even after you've you know gotten started and you put a few things out there just keep doing it and you'll be shocked at how many people come around and, and finally you're like hey you know what i saw your uh you know that house you posted uh, two weeks ago, whatever. Um, and me and my wife were thinking, hey, we we'd like to buy something similar to that. Uh, if that one's not available, can you help me find one? I can't tell you how many times that happens to me, where they're like, hey, you know, I saw this, whatever, and I know you're doing pretty good. They've been thinking about you. You know, they were thinking about helping. You know, giving you some business, and you don't know this. You don't even know this is going on. And so the key that I would say is that. Always stay focused, always be willing to help people, um, keep a positive attitude, even if it's like been a month or two and no sales, it's like, hey, that stuff happens. But you put things in place so that you do have at least activity going on. So make sure that there's activity. Um, that's really all I wanted to share. Um, I'm already here at the destination, so I'm about to go into the service area over there at Mercedes and get this car um, cleaned up for my wife so i hope everything's going great in you guys this life uh it's an awesome day it's beautiful it's been raining here in florida like every day for like the last two weeks and finally as you can see we have some sun up there so um all right guys troy the realtor signing out have a great one bye